our reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, what more shall I say? I have not time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel, and the prophets, who by faith conquered kingdoms, did what is righteous, obtained the promises, they closed the mouths of lions, put out raging fires, escaped the devouring sword. Out of weakness they were made powerful, became strong in battle, and turned back foreign invaders. Women received back their dead through resurrection. Some were tortured and would not accept deliverance in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, sawed in two, put to death at sword's point. They went about in skins of sheep or goats, needy, afflicted, tormented. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered about in deserts and on mountains, in caves and in crevices in the earth. Yet all this, though approved because of their faith, did not receive what had been promised. God had foreseen something better for us, so that without us they should not be made perfect. The Word of the Lord Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which, toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode, from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord whose wondrous mercy he has shown me in fortified city. Once I said in my anguish, I am cut off from your sight, yet you heard and sound, yet you heard the sound of my pleading when I cried out to you. Love the Lord all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requites those who act proudly. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Amen. 